All right guys, so this is my basic lighting setup I've just done in my garage here. I'm setting this up. I've got Taylor Davis coming in a little bit and we're gonna do a shoot. So I just wanted to get things set up beforehand. So when she gets here, all we've really got to do is just kind of position the lights and start shooting. So let me talk about the gear that I set up here. So first of all, I'm shooting tethered, which means I'm going into my laptop here. This is my MacBook Pro and I'm using the tether tools tether table here. This is the arrow table and this is the cable here but notice i'm using this this is called a jerk stopper so if i pull it it stops it coming out of the computer at the same time here i've got this strap that keeps the computer nice and firm on this table that is not going to fall off you don't want that to happen so then we go to the camera notice i have a jerk stopper on this end here too so if i pull this it doesn't come out now the advantage of shooting tethered is here i can get a nice big view there i am on that last shot and you can see uh, if everything's in focus and you can look at the lighting and the composition rather than squinting a little screen. So let's look at the camera. I've got the Canon 5D Mark III right here. And it, currently I've got the 2470 lens on there. There's a good chance I'm gonna change that to my 50 mil. Also, I'm just using a, a Gitzo tripod here. And then I've got the Acrotec head here. I love this Acrotec uh, ball head. All right, so let's talk about lighting. So I'm using the Profoto D1 500. So these are the D1 Airs here. Notice here's the controller that's on top. I can control the lights. I can adjust them to one tenth of a stop. And I can also adjust other things such as the modeling light and stuff like that from here. So I've got these mounted on Matthew C stands, nice and secure, nice heavy stands. And also I've got sandbags on there so these don't fall over. As you can see, I've got the Profoto D1s. These are the 500s. I've got two of these hooked up and I'm using the Shimera speed rings there so I can attach my softbox. If I do full body, I'm gonna change that to vertical because right now I've got it set to horizontal and that'll light it more evenly. Then I have a little photo effects um, silver dome here that I'm just using for my hair light. And I can keep that open, I'll pop that up. This just lets air in here for cooling. So this is my hair light. This is just gonna create a rim. And what this does is it creates separation between the background and a foreground. And it also adds some nice illumination around the hair. Now these are gonna be adjusted obviously once Taylor gets here. All right, so you might've noticed here, I was working with this. This is a light meter. This is a conic light meter. And the great thing about this is we I'll pop this little bulb out. See this comes in or out. So you want to pop that out, get an instant reading, and you notice I put this against my cheek. Um, and that's a good place to put it because you want to get that where the light is hitting the model. And then you can get a reading on there and you can see when you get it properly exposed. So when you're getting a reading here with our light meter, um, what you want to do is adjust either one of two things. We want to adjust the camera and we want to adjust the power of the lights. Now these lights are adjustable to one tenth of a stop. So you can get them pretty good there, like very good actually. Um, and the other thing is you want to adjust the aperture on the camera. Changing the shutter speed doesn't do anything as far as working with strobes because the light happens so quickly. So what you want to do is you want to be adjusting the aperture, the opening on the camera. It lets more light in. If you open it up, stop it down, lets less light in. That's how you balance the light when shooting with strobes. Now, if you're doing a mixture of you're wanting to shoot the ambient background, as well as the illuminated foreground with the strobes, what you would do is you would set your shutter speed for the background, you know, such as outdoors and you're doing strobes and stuff like that. Set that up to work for your backdrop and then use the aperture boom, to adjust the lighting on the subject. Yeah. All right, so here's Taylor. Hello. <laughs> and we're ready to do the shoot. So yep. she's all like dressed up like, what, what are we doing? Final Fantasy for you? I don't yeah. know. I just haven't worn this skirt yet. and. <laughs> I like got it a while ago and was like, you know, let's try something new. I don't have a lot of like edgier stuff on my channel or pictures, so this is gonna be fun. It's gonna be something a little different. <laughs> so I have the same skirt, you know. Oh yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> no, not really. Just kidding. But... <laughs> let's see those photos. <laughs> <laughs> let's see those photos. Yeah, those ones are not gonna appear for some reason. <laughs> All right, so uh, in case you guys don't know, Taylor is a musician and a composer. She plays the violin right there. Blah, blah, blah. She actually plays it really well. <laughs> Thank you. And, uh, and she shares her music. She has albums and stuff like that. Well, you know, we'll, we'll get into that. <laughs> I'm going to do one light at a time because this is like going to be the main light and okay. then I'm going to get a room light with that. Oh. But I'm noticing like the Final Fantasy stuff has like really heavy room lights. So. No, no, yeah, like that. Okay. Awesome. And it's kind of like right up against it, it's touching your cheek. Okay. Awesome. And I just want to get a little reading up there real quick. <laughs> Actually, point it towards me more. There you go. Down. Yeah. 
Was it hooked to your camera at all, like wirelessly, or is it just you use that for reference? No, nah, it's for reference because with this, you know, with constant light, mm -hmm. you can see and you just tile it up. But when you pop yeah. the flash, you can't. Uh, you know, you can't really see the exposure and the yeah, camera and stuff true. until it pops, mm -hmm. and then that way, rather than guessing, you can just go in. There. I'm gonna guess it's gonna give us ten or eleven, maybe. Ah, look at that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> all right, pro. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, let's do some emoting. Like Emo you're, so you're like, um, yeah, you're. Like, <laughs> 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 I'm so bad. See, this is so funny. Like, here we are, we're going to do something edgy with you, and then you're like the I happiest know. person in the world. You're not like that brooding, unhappy musician. <laughs> you're getting ready to bow it. Is you bow it? Is that what you do? You, yeah. But you're getting ready to like really aggressively. Really like you're, get you're that. like if you were gonna do it to just like if you wanted to like shred like. Should I like lift a foot up for like intensity? Um, sure. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> So what we've done here is I've changed the lighting setup a little bit. This is just basic, you can do some nice headshots here. <laughs> and so I'm using a beauty dish now. And just a little reflector. And of course we got some really awesome reflector stands here. Yes. <laughs> okay, so basically it's just a single light setup right now. And uh, this is gonna just sculpt the face really nicely. Yeah, so it's supposed to be a very kind of a soft light. It's <laughs> <laughs> supposed to be. That's nice. You probably think we're still talking about Hawaii. We are, but we had a big, <laughs> long, um, what do you call it? I don't know, that was detour. like... Detour. We had a detour. Like We've a... solved all the world's problems and <laughs> yeah, we've figured so... out the secrets of success on YouTube. Yeah. Which is, um, I forgot, what was it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So what was the success? <laughs> we success were having some good, there were yeah, some was nuggets good. of wisdom there. Some good nuggets there, so, you know, <laughs> when I hit a million subscribers, I'll let you guys know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there we go. Oh, that's not, oh, you know what? I look like I have hair. This is good. Yay. <laughs> you look like you get ears. I look like I have, like... Let's see, your sunglasses make it look like ears. Yeah. The ears are cool. I'm okay, going to take this off.